Shredding through the D minor pentatonic scale sounds like a pretty wild idea. <laughs> humans and pets and welcome to another installment of Weekend Wank Shock, the only weekly lick series featuring Ben Eller that will get you chicks, help you make friends, and influence others. I just flew back from the great state of California from the winter NAM show and boy are my arms tired. That was the first NAM I've ever attended and I gotta tell you guys, it was really really awesome. To quote my main man Andy Wood, it's like Guitar Center but bigger. Or for those of you from out of country, it's like hell but smaller. I did have a really great time though. Fishman Pickups invited me to come play in their booth and demo the new Fluence Pickups, which are incredible. I got to see a lot of my friends from other bands that I've been on a tour with, and uh, shake hands with a lot of suckamaniacs like yourself from across the world. A good time was had by all. But meow, I'm back in the rolling hills of East Tennessee to deliver unto you guys a scorching new lick before I board the shiprocked cruise line to play on that next week in the Bahamas, which is going to be pretty dope. We're going to explore a furious D minor pentatonic run in the style of Zach Wilde today, although you could hear similar runs by guys like Joe Bonamassa and even Eric Johnson and dudes like that. Very useful, you could use this in a whole bunch of different styles, pretty much anywhere you could use the pentatonic scale, and you need to you know, impress folks a little bit, you could use a look like this. But before we dive into this blessed hell ride, let's hear that lick again at step wild speed. <laughs> And as always, Suckamaniacs, check out my Instagram page, at Ben Eller Guitars, for a full handwritten tab of how to play this boss lick. Make a video of yourself playing it and upload it, hashtag Weekend Wank Shop, and make your old Uncle Ben proud. Alright, here's everything you need to play this uh, hoss right here. It's going to use a D minor pentatonic scale, okay? That's the notes D, F, G, A, C, and D. Play it in the usual kind of box position. It's like this. I'm just going to go from the low E string to the high E string, name off the fret numbers. I'll put the notes on the screen here too. It's going to be uh, on the low E string 10 and 13, A string here 10 and 12, D string 10 and 12, G string 10 and 12, B string 10 and 13, high E string 10 and 13. So it's 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10, 13. That's all you need to play this beast. As you guys have probably noticed, I'm a fan of any kind of like sequenced idea running through a scale pattern. Uh, they're very easy to understand, they sound cool, and they'll get you chicks and money. Let's check this out. It's a pretty simple pattern to understand. What I'm going to do here is to start off on the high E string at its highest note in the pattern, the F note on fret number 13. And what I'm going to do is to walk down the scale pattern down the next three strings. So the E string, the B string, and the G string. After that, what I'm going to do is to go back a string to the B on its highest note, fret number 13, the C note, and walk down three strings. So it's kind of like the idea of walking down three strings. I started off on E, then I started on B. At that point, I'm up to six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so I still have two beats to fill out at the end of this measure. So what I'm going to do is to break my pattern a little bit and only do two strings here. I'm going to go G string, D string. And that wraps that up. So three strings from E, three strings from B, two strings from G. Now at this point I'm going to enter into the second half of the lick and what I'm going to do is to go back to the G string again, play down three strings. G string, D string, A string, back a string, down three, D string, A string, E string. And at this point I'm playing the root note of the scale, the D note here on fret number 10. I want to wrap the lick up now so I can go get a sandwich. So what we're going to do is to play the octave of that note. 12th fret on the D string. 
That's a great note to land on, especially if you're playing against a D chord or any kind of D minor kind of voicing or something like that. That'll be a good strong root note to hit against that. So that's a winner. Okay, so again, the whole pattern, what we're going to do here is start off on E, walk down three. Go to B, walk down three. G string, walk down two. Then we're going to go to G string, walk down three. D string, walk down three. Octave. As for the business end over here, this is a great pick to work into some alternate picking. The pentatonic scale, with it being kind of a two note per string kind of pattern, is perfect for alternate picking. Alternate picking eats even numbered things because alternate picking is an even numbered thing. Down, up, two motions, one, two. So anything even numbered with the left hand, the right hand loves to alternate pick. So basically, what you're going to be doing is treating every string exactly the same here. Down, up, and that's it. Down, up, 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 down. So again, every string gets treated identically right there. The pentatonic scale is great for working on fast alternate picking, traveling over multiple strings. So just be sure that you're alternate picking that the entire time. I wouldn't really worry about any kind of economy picking or anything like that. This is probably just going to throw your groove off from this nice one and two and three and four and five and six and kind of feel that you have going on. You could throw some economy picking in there if you wanted to get all Eric johnson -y on it, but I like the time feel better and heck, might as well work on that alternate picking across multiple strings, so do that instead. So there you go kids, another sick lick to get you ripping. Be sure to upload a video of you playing that sick lick to Instagram, hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. And then start watching the mailbox for chicks, because you're going to get like a million space bucks out of that one. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, be sure to hit me up sometime for some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons where we can talk about music theory and scales and modes and making great omelets and tacos and all the important stuff in life. Thanks again so much. Stay tuned for another Weekend Wake Shop. If you're going to be on Ship Rocked, be sure to come and give me a big old high five and buy me a cute drink with an umbrella in it. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys soon.